What's up everybody and welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review. A lot of big things happen on the show tonight. So we'll kick it off with Batista coming out. As Batista came out, he talked about what happened on Monday on Raw. And he talked about he was the face of this company. He was going to come back after Orton. And he talked about where the real men of WWE. He got an example of Dolph Ziggler who tried to get his 15 minutes of fame. But Batista already put, he put him down in. And Brian pretty much came out there and talked about Batista. Saying you know, nobody else want to see you and everything. That you come out here. But you wear skinny jeans and sunglasses and doors. Or whatever type of vest it is. And they talked about he talked about the yes chance. Batista, what happened to all the real men? in this company. Where did they all go? Well, when did they start letting fans in the locker room? That's the first thing. Since you're a fan, why don't you go buy a ticket to watch him at WrestleMania fight for the title, he said. And pretty much Brian, pretty much went at him and talking about him. Talking the universe saying, did people want to come see Batista as a hero? And people said, no. And Batista pretty much says, I'm letting you get away with this right now. I'm trying to let him out the ring because it's his ring and his universe. As Batista says, since I guess Batista's now full heel mode, probably. And pretty much, uh, Brian kept talking about Batista. Batista tried to attack them, but Brian pretty much kept kicking Batista and dropped kicked him out of the ring. Kane came out to come and attack Brian. Batista tapped him behind. Kane and Batista started jumping Brian in. Big Show came out, which was allegedly his big return, even though. Big Show was only gone for a week, and all he did was just do panel shows, come out with Betty White, and come out after Raw in Chicago, if anybody saw the backstage pass. So Batista really never, I mean, so Big Show never really left. He was just gone for a week. He's been back, well, what, his return to action in about under a month? Not really returned, but he got a big pop for it, though, at least. Um, Christian went against Dolph Ziggler, Dario's on commentary. Pretty much the match went on. Christian did the kill switches. Their real guy on the table started saying something in, in pretty much Spanish. And Christian won. He said uh, Sheamus was pretty much nothing right after. And um, as they tried to do a post interview, Sheamus came out for the attack. He tried to hit the bro kick on Kip Christian, but Christian got out of there then. Usos went against right back. So Usos won. Pretty much basic match. Natalia and Eva Marie went against AJ and Tamina, and God knows why the fuck is Eva Marie still in this company. I don't know why either. I just don't know why either she's in this company and that. I didn't even know she's even still part of it until she was actually in this match. I don't really watch Tell Divas that much. Whatever it's allegedly, uh, so, well, it's supposed to be coming back already. Right, I don't even know a day, but I don't even know what happened to the other girl, or, or whatever name, JoJo or something. I, I don't know why they haven't released Steve Marie. I, I guess she's trying. I didn't really pay pay attention. Hell, I almost feel bad for Natalia, but Natalia and her, I, we know Natalia hit the sharp shoot on AJ and won the match, and Samina just stormed that, you know, stared them down. Then, uh, the Shield Summit happened as Ambrose and Reigns. Called out Seth Rollins to know what was happening. Rollins came out saying he sacrificed himself for his group and everything. And he said, um, it's not us against the Wyatts. It's the war against ourselves and everything. Ambrose kept talking about Rollins. said, you left us. At least I fought off the shield. You walked out on us and everything. And it can end in either way. It's going to happen or it's not. Sorry, people, just a bit of a shot. I heard some. Uh, pretty much, um, it's gonna happen in that. And as Rollins, and pretty much Ambrose kept talking about him. Ambrose pushed Rollins to the ground. And Rollins says, We can do this right now and everything or something. Like he's giving himself for the team. And he said, Y'all, he wants to do something that's gonna make him feel great right now. So he slapped Ambrose. Then Ambrose said, I'll take one for the team. And I know pretty much Rollins says, I'll take one for the team. Reigns just looked like he wanted to break it up. Brian, um, Ambrose even slapped Rollins to the ground in, which somewhat didn't make sense. And we well, punched him to the ground, and he got back up. And he says, "He were done here, or done, or we're just done." And pretty much, he put his hand up to know they were in the shield. 
Rollins, I mean, yeah, pretty much Reigns so put his hand, like he said, he hit a Superman punch on Rollins, but he put his hand in, and then Ambrose put his hand in, and the shield is still together, which is a very odd thing. I didn't know, like, Ambrose and, Ambrose and Rollins, like, they were having a slapping contest with each other, and Reigns is just standing, I was wondering who's going to turn on who, are they going to jump Reigns, is Reigns going to hit Rollins, or Ambrose, or somebody's going to hit somebody of the shield, or something, but the shield is still together, it was a good segment, it was just, Odd. Where, where was it going? Was it breaking up or not? I don't know. This, but the Shields are still together. Sheamus went against Alberto Del Rio. I would say maybe a hard in match. It was really good. <laughs> but, uh, even though I have, um, Del Rio kept trying to get the cross arm breaker most of the time. Uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, he's a cross arm breaker, but Sheamus pretty much took the bro kick, even though Sheamus' arm was hurting because he was bleeding from last Monday. Even though I don't know why I'm watching Sheamus and Del Rio again, which has been gone for almost a million times, even when Sheamus was the world heavyweight champion. I'm surprised Christian didn't come out. The Wyatt's cut a promo. It's hard for pretty much Cena. Is it worth it, everything? And pretty much Wyatt talked about Cena. How you built this empire and everything, this this legacy and, and whatever was trying to weigh in the world that he learned from the streets that taught him. His mother or something taught him everything, whatever. And the world is his teacher. He learned the hard way, and he just wants to burn Cena and everything. He's not trying to save him. He's trying to burn him, and just wants to say, follow the buzzards. He just, I guess, want to take out John Cena regardless. So I don't know. But it was a really good promo by the Wyatts on John Cena. Always oh, great promos by the Wyatts. What am I saying? Well, one of the Wyatts promos that good. They've they just been awesome most of the time. Undertaker will be here this Monday to address Brock Lesnar as Hulk Hogan will be here this Monday about whatever it has to do with WrestleMania. Uh, main event, Batista and Kane going against The Big Show and Daniel Bryan. Whatever, fear the beard, fear the giant, or whatever it was. Pretty much a, what I expect out of this match. Really good match with, with uh, both of them. Uh, pretty much it ended with Brian trying to get the sunset roll on Kane and Big Show coming in with the knockout punch, then taking him out. So it, it was what I expected. So it was what I expected out of this match. It was, it was good, though, with Batista and Kane going against Brian and uh, Big Show. But I think mean, most of the main focus was on uh, the Shield Summit. And, and before I go in this review, let me say one thing about what happened last Monday with this hijack raw from my city of Chicago. Do I feel that they hijacked raw? In a way, yes. Because these two things happen. Number one, that we all know prior to the WWE read about the hijacking thing all day. So I guess they decided to go, you know what, we're not going to put on a shitty show tonight. We're going to put on such a good show that they're not going to have something to hijack. Or maybe the fans did hijack the show and... Uh, I don't know. Did, was it accomplished? I'm feeling like in both ways in between, but I'm not feeling like it was accomplished. I was expecting something to happen like the night after WrestleMania. Were the CM Punk chants good last Monday? Yes, they were. I agree every little thing about that. What happened Monday? And a couple of other chants here. But was it that WWE played into the hand of the hijacks? Or, or were we hijacked? Did the WWE hijack us? Or did we hijack the WWE last Monday on Raw? From the Paul Heyman promo on Punk turning to a, pretty much to a, a reason for a WrestleMania thing with uh, Undertaker. From the Bryan and Triple H promo from the new tag team champions to Brock Lesnar. But it, uh, I didn't care he's already beaten up Mark Henry three times and that doesn't matter to me at this point because it's been done already. Uh, or to what everything everybody knew. Or even Bryan saying the word hijack. I, I don't know... What was the real thing? If I was there, I don't know what made a difference. I could have known. It's just that fans were here all day on the internet, on Twitter, on everything. 
saying we're going to steal the show, we're going to hijack it, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Hey, I was hoping somebody's going to throw trash in the ring. Let's get some get something extreme here. We're not going to, I don't know if we're going to throw chairs like ECW or anything, but I, I don't know. I think we got the message across even though we chanted CM Punk throughout the entire night of the show. I look at is it in a way of I want to say it was accomplished somewhat to get the voices heard, but I don't know. So I just want people to comment and really and really comment on the hijack on Raw. Do you believe Raw was hijacked last Monday? Yes or no? Because the next time they hit Chicago, will they'll they'll be coming back? Again, for payback, I was at payback last year, by the way, but see videos of that. But payback will be will be back in Chicago on June 1st, so I'm probably going to make pick up my ticket so I can go see it again. Even though you know, people probably will still be chanting CM Punk. Other than that, it was still a hot crowd on Monday. It was really hot. Yeah, it was a really good show. That was the main thing. It was a really good show last Monday. But I'm getting in my thoughts on the CM Punk thing right here with the raw hijack and everything. But like I said, comment and tell me what you thought about last Monday. But once again, you know it's me. It's me. It's that H double O D to the D O T G or whatever. Coming here with the news and the reviews. You know I am. You know what I do. You know what's going down. And now we are done with this review of Friday Night Smackdown. So I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.